This is our documentary, How He Made 1 Billion Bricks. Here with a video that takes a compelling look behind the scenes of creating bricks from raw materials to the final product, and the one man who has reached the amazing production goal of 1 billion bricks. Brick Manufacturing Bricks are the most ancient and common building materials in the world. Composed mostly of clay, shale, and calcite, bricks have been utilized in building construction for thousands of years. Brick manufacturing has come a long way since the 1st century BC with the inclusion of innovative technology and methods to enhance production and quality. Raw Material The raw material for the manufacture of bricks is the next step in the process of producing bricks. The raw materials are clay or shale, and the quality of these materials determines the quality of the finished product. These are carefully excavated from quarries and conveyed to the brick manufacturing plant. Preparation The materials are prepared once they reach the plant. Battery manufacturers must crush and grind the materials to the same particle size. The mixture obtained, which is known as slip or slurry, and consists of solid and water, is called slip or slurry. Molding. The prepared mix is then molded in different ways to give it the shape of a brick. These are extrusion and molding in the main. The mixture is then extruded through a die to form long strips that are cut into individual bricks. The mixture is pressed into molds for molding into the shape and size of bricks.
bricks are dried after molding. This step is essential to avoid cracks and warping during firing. This drying time usually takes a few days, but it can be prolonged depending on the type of brick and its station, as well as the drying conditions. Heating. Dry bricks are fired in kilns. This process is one of the turning points at which the mud bricks begin to be made into durable and solid building materials. The bricks are fired to temperatures between 1,800 and 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit. This can be from 24 hours all the way to 48 hours, depending on the kind of kiln and the properties you are trying to get from the bricks. Cooling. Large masses of bricks should not be cooled quickly because they can crack. This process can take many days but is essential for the overall stability of the bricks. The cool bricks are then examined for quality and sorted by their strength color, and other properties. Dispatch. The bricks are inspected and ready for dispatch. They are shipped carefully to construction sites, where they are used in houses, schools, commercial buildings, and public works. Innovation and efficiency. There is a protracted journey to ensuring that we reach 1 billion bricks, and that is a journey of innovation and efficiency. Sophisticated technology like automated machinery and computer-controlled kilns have helped in improving productivity and maintaining uniform quality. The successful continuation of brick production can be attributed largely to measures that include the recycling of waste materials and the optimization of energy use. The master behind the milestone. At the core of this extraordinary accomplishment is a man who foresaw the great promise in brick making and who immersed himself over an entire lifetime in the pursuit of perfecting the craft. His passion, creativity, and absolute dedication to the craft are showcased. As a result of his efforts, the brick manufacturing plant serves as a leading example of performance, innovation, and sustainability. We hope that through this documentary, 
you have discovered the very complex work process behind such a simple thing as a brick and learned what it took for one man to produce one billion. Bricks. The journey underlines the value of innovation, excellence, and commitment in converting raw materials into indispensable everyday products that provide our civilizations with vitality. Thank you for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe for more of these types of documentaries. If you have any thoughts or comments on the brick production process, post them in the comment section below. See you in the next video.